Today Saint of the Day of March 22nd is Saint Lee of Rome. Saint Jerome's letter XXII offers us a splendid portrait of Saint Lee, 384, a Roman widow who left her wealth to follow the way of Christ becoming worthy of paradise through prayer, penance and spiritual motherhood towards various virgins. Jerome's letter is addressed to Saint Marcella, c. 330-410, to console her for the earthly death of Lee, buried in Ostia, news of which reached the two holy friends while they were reading and studying Psalm 72 together. Marcella was also a Roman widow and noblewoman, who had formed a female community dedicated to asceticism and to whom Jerome acted as spiritual father during her stay in Rome. In his eulogy of Lee, Jerome writes that we must all greet with joy the liberation of a soul that has crushed Satan underfoot and finally won for itself a crown of tranquility. The author of the Vulgate then lists some of the saints' virtues, who can sufficiently praise the conduct of our dear Lee's life? Her conversion to the Lord was so complete that, by becoming the head of a monastery, she showed herself as a true mother to the virgins in it. Jerome informs us that Lee wore rough sackcloth, spent nights in prayer, fed on the poorest food and instructed her companions more by example than by words, her humility was so great that she, who had once been the mistress of many, had become the servant of all, a handmaid of Christ. Jerome draws a parallel with the parable of Lazarus and the rich man, saying he was convinced that Vettius Agarius Pretextatus, a consul who tried to restore paganism and who also died in 384, is now in Tartarus, symbol of hell. As a reward for her brief toil, Lee enjoys eternal happiness, is welcome in the choir of angels, and is consoled in the bosom of Abraham. And, just as the beggar Lazarus once saw the rich man, lying in torment, so Lee now sees the consul pretext status died before he could hold the office to which he had been elected, ed, no longer in his triumphal robes but dressed in mourning. In what sounds like a warning to convert, Jerome exhorts us not to trust in earthly glory, what a vast change. A few days ago the highest dignitaries of the city walked before him as he ascended the ramparts of the capital like a general celebrating a triumph, with the Roman people jostling to welcome him and applaud him. Quite different is the eternal fate of Lee, who in the eyes of the world seemed poor and of little worth, and whose life was considered madness. Now she is in the presence of Christ and can sing Psalm 47, quoted by Jerome, as we had heard, so we saw in the city of the Lord. The saint concludes with another teaching with strong gospel references, we must not seek to possess both Christ and the world. No, eternal things must take the place of ephemeral things. If we aspire to immortality we must realize that we are but mortal, as Saint Lee understood.